live from the O'Hara Construction Studio in downtown Jackson. It's the Bart Hawley Show. I'm David Rice, inviting you to join Bart and his guests. From Raymond Human Resources Solutions staffers, Katie Stewart and Kara Skatsky. From True Community Credit Union Chief Risk Officer, Brandy Cole with Risk Manager, Laura Hartshorn. Entertainment Correspondents, Dave DeBaker. Representing Citizens for Jackson District Library, John Hart. And from Flagstar Bank DEI Committee Representative, Megan Howland. And now, here's Bart. Thank you very much, and good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Great to have you tuned in today on a sunny afternoon, uh, kind of chilly. We are at only uh, 61 degrees. Uh, so, no, wait, that's not right. 55. That seems more like it. Yeah, yeah. 55, I'm sorry. Um, I was giving you what we hope to get to today. Uh, maybe 61, but uh, lots of sunshine, so that'll help. Clear tonight, low 36. On Friday, we're gonna warm up to 66 with sunshine. Even better on Saturday with sunshine and 69. And sunny on Sunday, 71. Next week, we'll see temperatures in the low 70s for Monday and Tuesday highs. Then, uh, just a bit below 70 for Wednesday. So the next few days, practically the whole next week, uh, delightful fall weather. And thank you, Kelly Express, for uh, providing the weather forecast here on JTV and online at JTV.TV. And when you stop by, you'll find great deals on Halloween goodies. And the pizza special at South Street, Jefferson Road, the Galley and Napoleon, Grass Lake, and County Farm Road, a large one-item pizza, and an order of breadsticks for $17.99. It's a great deal, great pizza at Kelly Express. I'd like to take a look outside just to uh, back up my uh, statements on the weather. And yes, I've, I've been honest again today. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, you're on. Yeah, beautiful day. Still a ways before we have uh, fall color and fall peak. Uh, maybe by the end of next week, things will look a lot different. Yeah. Mm. The good news is, um, typically when we get beautiful color, by the way, um, where's our color? Looks like we have to change it out, huh? Uh, <laughs> it's Andy's responsibility and he's gonna take care of that today. <laughs> um, yeah, by the time we get beautiful fall color, we get rain and wind, but there's none of that uh, in the forecast. It is the 17th of October. It is Conflict Resolution Day, and I'm glad to see everybody here at JTV have, uh, have, have buried the hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Forgive an X Day. Brandon, do you have that list? Uh, I'm the one that needs <laughs> forgiving. It's Get to Know Your Customers Day, uh, International Credit Union Day, and later today we'll have some uh, credit union people on the show, Mulligan Day, so do it over, and National Pasta Day. So good way to uh, celebrate that would be to, uh, well, have pasta for dinner. It was on this day in 1814, it was the London Beer Flood. Now that might, to some of you, sound like a good thing, but it was terrible because vats of beer at the Mew and Company Brewery burst and they, flood, they flooded the city streets of London with 610,000 liters of beer. So it was a 15 foot tall wave of porter and it killed eight people some of whom were gathered, conveniently, for a funeral. Wasn't intended to be theirs. On this day in 1931, 
gangster Al Capone, or as a presidential candidate yesterday called him, Alphonse Capone. <laughs> Uh, Al Capone, convicted of tax evasion. Although he was a murderer, he called for the hits and probably committed many himself, but it was um, his, his tax evasion that got him in, into prison. And that was the beginning of the end for Al Capone. 11 years in federal prison and fined $50,000 which I guess a lot of money, but not if you're crooked from evading taxes. You probably have a lot. On this day in 1989, I remember this, a magnitude 6.9 earthquake rocked Northern California during game three of the World Series between the San Francisco Giants and the Oakland A's. It was at Candlestick Park. The network had just begun the pregame uh, broadcasts and the place just started rocking and then the power went out and they really didn't know the magnitude of what was happening at the time. They thought, oh, well, we'll, we'll probably delay the start of the game. No, obviously it never happened. And it was, uh, well, actually 10 days later they resumed the series, but the earthquake killed 67 people, uh, nearly 4,000 people injured and $5 billion in property damage because of that quake. Do you remember it, Brandon? I do remember it very well, yeah. Really? 1989? That was 10. 10, huh. Yeah, almost 10, I was nine. And you're probably curled up in front of the TV to watch the game. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad the stadium could have, something really uh, bad could have happened I know. at the stadium. Uh, really, and a lot of people thought, oh wow, gosh. imagine that, with, you know, tens of thousands of people in the stadium if it had uh, collapsed. What was that? Uh, Noah's being mean. Oh. Uh, it's conflict resolution day. Is he, is he having an he hasn't re Yeah, he hasn't resolved his conflict with me <laughs> yet, so we have to talk after the show. Uh, 1963, the Beatles recorded I Want to Hold Your Hand at EMI Studios in London. Now on to Today in the J, brought to you by Experience Jackson. Today is World Wear Purple Day. Brandon, anything? Uh, I got purple socks on. Purple socks. It is Wear Purple Day. <clears throat> in uh, honor of Domestic Violence Awareness Month, AWARE, inviting you to wear purple today. It's not too late. You can support, show your support for survivors of domestic abuse. Uh, and don't forget to take a pic and tag yourself and AWARE on social media. You can buy swag uh, at AWARE on their website and support AWARE at the same time, supporting uh, survivors directly with your purchase. Today is the Jaxpo Business Showcase. It's just getting underway right now at the American One Event Center. And it goes until five o'clock, it's free, and all are welcome. It's a showcase of Jackson business and nonprofits. They have every booth filled, full house, all right. sold out. Good news is it's free for you to go, and um, everyone's welcome. Years ago, they charged people to go. Can you believe that? Yeah. But not anymore. It's free. So stop by and check out all the cool businesses we have at American One Event Center at Killy Park. Tonight, AARP Michigan invites you to a movie at the Michigan Theater, A Man Called Otto. It's a, a movie that stars Tom Hanks. Um, it was uh, widely uh, loved and universally um, praised, good movie, I recommend it, and it starts at 6.30 at the Michigan Theater. And that's it, Today in the J, brought to you by Experience Jackson. Be sure and check out all the things happening this weekend on experiencejackson.com and here on JTV's Today in the J feature on our website. We've got great water in the County National Bank green room from County National Bank. No, from Tri-County Water. Green room's from County National Bank. The water is from Tri-County. Thanks so much, Tri-County. And thanks to our sponsor of the day today, we salute and thank today the College and Career Access Center 
And it's a busy month at CCAC as they're helping students with their college applications and their FAFSA forms get all kinds of assistance in getting ready for your college or career at the College and Career Access Center. Thanks for being one of our partners here on JTV. Today we have a great lineup of guests joining us in just moments. From Raymond, we have senior HR professionals, Kara Skotsky and senior manager consultant, Katie Stewart. They know all about HR and in particular the uh, changes in the law as it comes to, uh, well, Michigan's uh, minimum wage. We've got joining us today, Brandy Cole and Laura Hartshorn from True Community Credit Union as we celebrate International Credit Union Day. Dave DeBaker, our entertainment correspondent, will be here. From the Citizens uh, for Jackson District Library, John Hart, he has details on what the millage request is for. And Megan Howland will be here. She is uh, putting on a movie with the folks at Flagstar, uh, Hocus Pocus. All here today on JTV. Great to have you here. And we get started right after this. Express Marts are conveniently located throughout South Central Michigan with convenient hours of operation. We pride ourselves on our fast and friendly service to get you going on your way. We're here when you need us. Full service and fully stocked stores, fresh hot premium coffee, and cappuccino. All Kelly Express Marts are staffed with friendly, knowledgeable people committed to providing the highest level of service. Kelly Express Mart. <laughs> If you're looking for a high quality, affordable alternative to the emergency room, then come to IEP Urgent Care's location in Jackson. It's the same great ER physicians who have been providing care through our local hospital since 2008. But now with a location to serve you better. Our ER trained providers believe high quality care is for everyone. So we work with all insurances, including Medicaid and Medicare. Come see us on East Michigan Avenue. I'm Amy Leanhart, owner of Allegra Printing of Jackson. We have grown from a quick print shop into a commercial printing company. Full color printing, on-site graphic design, variable data printing, and much more. Come see us at Allegra Printing of Jackson, 1232 Southwest Avenue. Open your Michigan-made checking account with True Community Credit Union. When you open a Michigan-made checking account, you can earn up to 5.25% APY each month based on the activities and relationships you have connected to your account. The more points you earn, the higher the rewards. Plus, there's no minimum balance or monthly fee. Visit TrueCCU.com to open your Michigan-made checking account today. For over 30 years, the Jackson area has relied on the knowledge and craftsmanship of Allen Brothers Fence Company. From wrought iron and aluminum to vinyl, wood, or chain link fencing, the friendly staff at Allen Brothers is the answer for your next decorative, security, or containment fence project. Residential, commercial, or industrial, call 764-2922. Visit us on Facebook to take a look at some of our latest projects or stop in and see us at 4200 Page Avenue in Michigan Center. The Blue Julep, located in downtown Jackson, is everybody's favorite place to go for handcrafted from scratch desserts for every occasion, such as specialty cakes, custom cookies, and unique dessert buffets. But did you know they offer daily treats as well? Like a large variety of cupcakes, cookies, and more. No pre-orders necessary. Simply walk in, pick out what you want, and leave happy. And be sure to check us out on DoorDash. The Blue Julep a specialty dessert company with everyday great treats waiting for you. 
Over the past century, many things have changed. The people, the homes, the businesses. But one thing is not, and that's the quality of care you receive when you choose Craft Agency Insurance. Founded in 1923, the Craft Agency provides care to countless families and businesses in our community. We are committed to learn and adapt to ensure one single goal, assisting families and businesses with quality insurance options that provide security and peace of mind. The Craft Agency our family serving yours for 100 years. Grimes Plumbing Company is licensed and insured. Give us a call for all your plumbing needs. Water heater installation and repair, drain cleaning, leak repair. And remember, at Grimes Plumbing, we love water. Hi, I'm Mike Blair from Blair's Car Care, and this is my son, Mike. On behalf of Blair's, we would like to thank you for 100 years of servicing your car needs. Thank, thank you. you. Blair's prides itself on the quality care we provide and the professional services we offer to our community. Whether it's simple or complex, Blair's will get your repairs done quickly and have you back on the road in no time. Call today and schedule an appointment at 517-782-8116. In the tapestry of caregiving, each thread represents a unique story, a testament to love, strength, and resilience. If you are a caregiver, your story can be a beacon of inspiration, providing comfort and understanding to those who walk a similar path. Our roles may be diverse, but the common thread is the impact we have on the lives we touch. Share your story and listen to other caregiver stories by scanning the QR code or visiting the link on your screen. Great coffee today from the Jackson Coffee Company. Mm, breakfast blend. The Jackson Coffee Company has a sister company, the Jackson Candy and Fudge Factory, and they are all set for Halloween. Stop by and get some great Halloween treats. Maybe you're having a Halloween party. They've got a lot of cool things that will just make your party the hit. Jackson Candy and Fudge and Jackson Coffee Company both with seasons, with flavors of the season. Great food today from Taher and Jackson Public Schools. The lunch provider at JPS is Taher, and they're celebrating National School Lunch Week all this week, and they are doing a real pirate's lunch. So uh, the pirates, I wouldn't think the pirates ate really well because um, they got scurvy and everything, but um, they have recreated a lunch that is not going to give kids scurvy. It's going to keep them healthy and happy. It's unbelievable what Taher does in JPS. They take great care of our kids at breakfast and lunch, really all year long. Thank you to Taher and uh, the entire team working to feed our kids healthily, nutritiously, and deliciously at Jackson Public Schools. We had great turkey and ham wraps, apples and oranges, cookies, and more today from Taher. It's our 25th season of high school sports on JTV and Friday night football night in Jackson presented by Minuteman Sewer and Drain Cleaning. This Friday night, we have Gaylord at Lumen Christi. The pregame starts at 6.45, and the game kicks off at 7 and replays upon the conclusion of the game. And then again, all weekend long, along with last weekend's Chelsea-Jackson game, it's the Minuteman Sewer and Drake Cleaning and Sports Weekend, starting Friday night, 6.45, right here on JTV. Tonight, it's a preview of the weekend in high school football on the Aspen One Hour Football Show. Andy and David, take a look at last week's action. We've got the player of the game. They've got one player that had uh, like 400 yards they're gonna salute tonight. And to look at their predictions for Friday night. That's today at seven and 10 here on JTV. Our first guests on the show today